Hello everyone, so today we will proceed with the that alpha plate or a drone or I don't know. It's a science fiction thing. Spaceship. Great, so let's start renaming things because we have a mess. So it will be a glass or a cockpit. Glass, okay. And in here we have a something sim simple base zero one, okay, or no, with base zero two, so base zero one, great, base zero three, base zero four awesome so we have a base grp base awesome glass base and uh, what do we have in here okay we can hide these items for now uh, and left this inner side, I don't know, interior, let's say interior, and um, yeah, it's a, okay, it's a light, so we can GRP lights, awesome, okay, let's unhide everything, so we now GRP Geo Ufa. Okay. We have something like that. Very nice. Interior cockpit. It should be on the base too. No, it doesn't matter. We can remove the base group. Then. Okay, so lights on separate group, everything, group it under the GRP Geo. Okay, so without any stops, we will move forward. I uh, okay, we'll start adding materials. I will use simple very MTL. We can go with uh, Maya Blin or Fong or Arnold. I will stay with uh, Viri. Okay, so I will create six materials. Maybe seven. Okay, six materials. Uh, okay, so let's assign first one glass. Awesome. So let's assign the glass material to the to the glass. So what we'll do next? We will select that material, and uh, refraction color will be going to be white. And refraction again to the right. Great. It looks like I'm not assigned the material. I don't know why. Okay, let's assign it again. So right click and assign material. Awesome. So you can see right now we can see it. Great. So the next material uh, it will be base zero one. Okay. Or base mat is zero one as a material gray move it from here okay dokey so we will select this part and this part and we will assign that material so what we will do next uh, let's pick pink color cool okay Let's select another mat. That one will be for a base. Awesome. And I don't like the bottom part. Wait a second, I will shrink it down a bit because I cannot see that. Uh, um, that that's how to say it. It's like curvature bending. So let's shrink a bit just a bit great okay 
So we assign it to that material. Uh, let's do some kind of color. Color. This one will be great. Awesome. Okay, so for this part, um, okay, I will do the same thing. I will uh, assign all of them and assign the base material. As you can see, I have some kind of bug and I need to select them one by one. Even if it's an instance, it doesn't work uh, applying the material. I don't know why, but uh, oh well. Let's see what we have that interior part. Okay, so what we can do, we can clear the uh, or freeze the transformation of the, of the object. So let's select the object and freeze it. Definitely, you can go to modify and freeze the transformation. Okay, so we will freeze all these values and we have in here in the inputs a lot of history, so we can delete the history. Great. And if your object has a history, you can change the values, you know, in the, in the torus, for example, as you can see. But when you are pretty sure that this is a uh, complete mesh, I suggest you to clear the history on all objects. The reason is because uh, when you have a lot of them, you will get lag. So in order to avoid the lag, Select everything, freeze it. Great. So let's move it aside and select that part and assign material. Great. Select interior. Yeah, interior. Great. Let's make something dark. Okay, 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 lights. Okay, I will do the same thing uh, for the lights, I'll just create a different color and I will try to select them all and assign that yellow material. Great. And press J in order to repeat the last command. Awesome. And as you can see, right now we have uh, too much shaders created, but well, what we can do next? We need something. Uh, I mean, some background or something. If we will just press rendering, as you can see, it doesn't look very good. We can go to a V-Ray and create a dawn light. Awesome. And uh, in the editor, when you select the dawn light, remove intensity, but it was overblown. Okay, so what we'll do next, I will create a rectangular light. And as you can see, I'm using lights for a V-Ray. If you are uh, working with Arnold, use for Arnold. Great. I have something like that. I don't have. Uh, I don't like that uh, square on the on the, on our ship. However, I don't have a lot of choices at this moment okay so ctrl d to duplicate or shift d and i will move to one side great select again the top one ctrl d rotation select on our side okay ctrl d to the back I'm not sure that we need all of the slides, however, we will play with that a bit. Okay, and uh, as you can see, right now we uh, have very big intensity for this small object, so I will 
select the strength of the lines I will reduce it to 1 great and as you can see we have this lines in the background we can hide it from the background they will be working i mean they will cast uh, light shadows etc but we won't see them in the render so go to the to the options and select them as invisible great and as you can see right now uh, glass looking better the render looking better definitely we need to tweak a bit materials so let's try to do that I will clean it here. So the bluish material, I don't like it. Okay, you can go fully to the metal. And you see you have such stylized thing, very nice. But I don't like in this particular case. So what I will do, I will increase the reflection color for that material. I will remove probably reflection by half the glossiness i mean maybe 0.75 maybe 0.6 we get 0.5 for now i will do the same thing for a purple material something like that great mm -hmm and probably right now i want to have a uh, something similar or purple background for for our for our spaceship so let's create a cube scale it a bit i will remove one part select the face and press delete button okay so let's go to the poly modeling and subdivide it a few times great and now we need to reverse let's go to the modeling and mesh display and reverse great and we can assign material let's name it uh, background background or ground ground doesn't matter you understand okay so I will pick the color awesome and let's do the render wonderful from this image I can see that we can increase our let's say flat light with uh, dome light a bit just a bit, a bit more something like that okay let's let's leave it like that probably maybe help great so what we will do next as i mentioned that i don't don't do not like that that was a square but right now you cannot see that square very good okay so what we can do next we have a great rim light oh by the way if you want uh, to have a thinner glass Oh, just duplicate it just to show it isolated delete the inner part and you will have as you can see thinner part uh, or thinner glass however if you will have something inside you must understand that uh, that object will be distorted you see it has a IOR and uh, it will be a little bit difficult for you to play 
in the beginning. So, my advice in the beginning, just use a double-sided glass and you won't get such distortion and you won't be surprised so much when you will start rendering. Great, and one more thing, we can see the jagginess and there's a plenty of ways how to fix it but I will show you a simple and uh, for the beginning it will be just awesome just press this in under overrides viewport subdivisions what does that mean that if the object is subdivided I mean press 3 for preview uh, that object will be rendered the same uh, let's say subdivided in the viewport if the object is not subdivided in the viewport you won't see subdivisions okay so let's check it you see that one is not subdivided not smooth that one is smooth great let's try to render it and as you can see that one is a smooth line and that is jagged and if we will smooth it go to smoothing as well oh it doesn't look great so let's select object and uh, let's press shift control right click and go to the object what just happened okay we need to proceed and Oh, but let's move it closer to our base mesh same for the bulbs yeah something like that awesome fixed number issue awesome so what we can do next we can try to align a bit more lights or you can uh, use uh, plugins in order to make the lighting. But in this case, I'm going to try to make them manually in order to show you that the lights impacting the scene very much, to be honest. Okay. I know that we cannot stretch it like that, etc. But oh well, I didn't saw a lot of people which are using UV scale. But I know the rules, but you know, not always I am following the rules. Okay, so I want to create a trim light. Okay, something like that. Definitely we can go again to the materials and maybe increase a bit reflections for that particular case. And when we're playing with that light, okay, maybe something like that. I'm just very thank it all mesh are smoothed okay so yeah basically you can play with that and as you can see we have a little bit better picture from the let's say from the start when we just started it started it okay, I'll choose a king 
circle. I don't like so much shininess in that material, so I don't know. Don't know. Maybe we can play over that a bit more. Okay, and uh, we have a rim light. Almost we have a rim light. So I want to have a bit flat color in here. Let's try to do another light. Oh yeah, maybe I will use the light which I already have. I'm doing the nonsense. Okay. Just increase the main light. Not main side light, I mean. Okay, so what I can say. We have something funny. Okay, okay, maybe we can throw some reflections on the uh, on the light bulbs. We can as well create them as a light bulbs, but okay, something like that. Alrighty. Great something a vibrant looking. Probably we can make a background glow maybe it will help because i don't really like this dark background i want something more light so okay let's select uh, our background and just apply the glow on that material yeah select that node and so now our mesh right now became a uh, uh, glowing object so we can assign the color to that uh, to that object As you can see our cube I mean our background is in that really light material object okay so let's try to play with our values maybe to be honest I like that one and like this one. No, I don't like a dark one. <laughs> and it's uh, you know it's uh, depend on your taste. I, I probably will leave it like this. I don't know. Maybe you will leave it in, uh, uh, in a different color. It's uh, you know depending on the taste. And now I don't like the blue color. Great. So I'll try to. What is that? Maybe we can just a bit more. Bit. I want to have, you know, that the pastel colors. Very soft colors. I like it. I like soft colors. Great. Very gentle. Okay, so now it's looking definitely better, at least for me. It's up to you, up to your judgment.
great guys so for today this is it i will create another tutorial and we will throw it in here that robot and we will try to align that robot in that image as well great so see you